Gonorrhea is the second leading STD that is caused by a bacteria. The bacteria is Neisseria gonorrhea. This is going to be spread into moist areas, so essentially the reproductive tract in its entirety is going to be able to spread this bacteria, and that's going to be the cervix, the uterus, the tubes, the anus, the urethra, and even mouth and eyes. So again, you're going to look at spread, vaginal spread, anal spread, and uh, oral spread. Neisseria gonorrhea is going to cause different symptoms regarding the men and the, and the women. For men, it can be silent, but there also can be a discharge, and that can be a yellow, a white, or greenish discharge. They can also have painful urination and also painful irritation around the opening of the penis. For women, uh, as in chlamydia, the problem may be here that this may be a silent infection and they never know they've had an infection. If there is any sort of pain or discharge, again, it may be very vague symptoms with a mild discharge, um, possibly some pelvic pain, possibly some irregular menstrual bleeding. The problem that then comes about is the fact that for these women that have no idea that they've had gonorrhea, no idea that they've had symptoms, they can have significant complications and those complications are going to be with pelvic inflammatory disease. Gonorrhea is one of the leading causes of pelvic inflammatory disease which can, which can permanently destroy your tubes and cause scarring of the ovaries, the tubes to the uterus and all the surrounding tissue that involves that area around the uterus. The concern with this is infertility and not being able to have children later in life. You can also develop chronic pelvic pain, which is difficult to treat. You can also end up with rectal infections and throat infections. So when it comes time to test for gonorrhea, you do need to discuss with your doctor modes of sexual activity. Ejaculation is not important in the spread of gonorrhea, so it is important that any sexual, trans any sexual mode is screened for. Therefore, if you're having oral sex, Please inform your doctor they will need to do cultures of your throat. They'll also need to do cultures of the vag vagina and anus depending on if you're having anal intercourse. For pregnant women, gonorrhea becomes a problem because this can be passed on to your child and this, the complications to your child can be very severe. They can become very sick, have serum sickness, and they can also this can also cause blindness. How do you prevent gonorrhea? Condoms can reduce the risk of gonorrhea by maybe up to half. However, the only way to truly stop gonorrhea from spreading is to pick one uninfected partner, remain with that partner for a lifetime, and live a stress-free life.